hello guys so <clears throat> today I want to uh, show a very important something right now you know do you know that um, APA style 7th edition when we are talking about reference APA style 7th edition is not included in Microsoft Office Word the, the latest edition in the Microsoft Office Word is only 6th edition so uh, you know right now you might be doing your thesis or any research and you want to reference your work using APA style 7th edition and you are looking for a way to do it uh, in an auto generated mode so and you want to use um, Microsoft Word and it's not working because there is no 7th edition in that particular Microsoft Word so in this case how would you do so I'm here to like give you a guide on what to do to get it done okay before I start before I start I want to say this what I'm going to do here the file I'm going to share here is not my work all credits go to the original author of that work what I'm going to do is just to show you how it is done. I'm not the programmer, I'm not the person that have programmed this work. And also, the author of this work says that this work is just the beginning. That is, it is ongoing, that it has not completed the whole program. That means, if you are using it, as you reference your work, you have to check it with the standard uh, APS 7th edition style to just cross check to know whether what is referencing is the same as the standard style so I will show you how you are going to insert this thing in your word so that you can use it anytime you want to use before without wasting time let's see how that is done so let's see how this is done just watch out so what you do is I'm going to I'm going to attach this link link of this file in the description button of this video of this YouTube video so this is this is the link to the file I'm going to include like I said I'm going to include this link so that you can just click directly so when once you open this site what you do is you scroll down where you see file you URL what you do is just click on APS 7th edition dot X L X S L once you click and you have a good internet network it's going to start downloading so you wait for it to download as for me now I have already downloaded this file I will not wait for it to download so what I will do is once it's, down, it's downloaded you go to your download your downloads once you go there you will see like like mine look at it here what you do is you open the folder you see this is when I downloaded it once you see what you do just copy right click on it copy once you copy you click on your local disk in your this PC from there you click on users after that you click on your user if you have a name you click on your name on on my own laptop it is written user so I'm going to click on that once you are done you click on app data app data you can see here 
then you open roaming at this point you look for microsoft you open microsoft after that you open the group gravity then you open style at this point what you do is you go to a, a plane space you right click and then you paste paste that file you copied once you paste the file i have already pasted my own that is why he's asking me to replace there is no need to replace it because i have already paste, uh, pasted mine so what you do once you paste it you close everything you close your window you load your microsoft word even even if you want to open a new document no problem or existing documents what you do is anytime you reference anytime you reference you come here at under style you click here and you will now see APS 7th edition initially this 7th edition was not there it is after I have pasted the copied file that is why it is written here so let's see how it works uh, let me see if I can insert citation and see how it works okay I, I don't have let me open exist, existing work and check how that goes uh, open all right let's let's let me see this okay under this document let me go to another page let me go to another page a plain a, a blank page okay under this page let me try to insect inside uh, in-text citation let's see how it goes i because i have already uh, edited all the site all the references here so let me choose let me choose this person and choose aps style 7 let's wait and see okay you see this is APA style. APA 7 edition. This is 7 edition. While well, this is 6 edition. You see how 6 edition is inserting it. Remember 6th edition. In the index uh, citation, it lists all the authors, whereas in seventh edition, it lists only the first author and then add it all. So, in that case, if I want to insert the book graph now, let's see how it goes. So now you see seventh edition is giving me all this citation and to me this is correct as long as you are working on mainly journals mainly journals arti or journal articles this is going to give you accurate uh, reference and citation but uh, since the author says that the work is still ongoing maybe he has not included other reference uh, materials like maybe textbooks and other sources but for journals i show you this is correct now the only observation i have seen is that if the number of authors exceeds number of authors exceeds seven 
is not going to list all the seven in the references i hope you understand that means if you have up to maybe 10 authors when it reaches um, the seventh one it will just stop it will not name the remaining ones so well there is a way you can do that maybe if you have any complaint you can comment then i will show you how to you know how to correct that particular issue so at the moment this is all i have for now please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe so that you will be getting useful information like this bye